Uh, hi, I'm Ian Marchant, uh, Leichhardt Council. I'm Team Leader Infrastructure. We've used uh, the recycled plastic product here at uh, Dawn Fraser Pool uh, after looking at many options and uh, this option came up with the best life cycle costing and also had environmental benefits because it's a recycled product. We're at Dawn Fraser Baths in Balmain. Uh, my name is George Roberts, I work for Sydney Marina Contracting and we're doing the refit to the bath. We removed the wood, uh, the old existing wood, which was red gum, and we are now replacing it with recycled plastic fenders. Uh, this job's a three month job. We've uh, had to deal with tidal flows and ferry wash, uh, and in, in, in doing that we, we used the 3.3 metre length uh, wave boards, the plastic wave boards, which have been quite effective in uh, deterring the wash. We found using the plastic wave boards was similar to using wood, uh, we found it using it with a plane, cutting it with a saw and drilling it were very similar to using timber. During the construction we, we realised that the plastic floated when one of the boys uh, let one of the, the wave boards slip away, which was a bit of a surprise but actually ended up being quite useful as using timber it just sank to the bottom. The Dawn Fraser Pool here in Sydney was uh, heritage listed so we had a lot of issues getting a new modern product into a heritage listed environment. Uh, it went through committee after committee, there were lots of uh, issues with the colour and, and matching the colours, but in the end, as you see, it's, it's come up quite well and we know they had a, a meeting here recently and they're all fairly happy with the product. The uh, history of the job's quite interesting and it's one of those jobs that, um, as we were going through it, we were wondering whether it was all worth it, but obviously uh, with what, what it's turned out like, it obviously is. Uh, we had a, a uh, I think it was a National Trust oversee this pool, so there were lots of issues with using plastic where it should have been timber. One of the reasons they've gone for plastic here instead of the original timber is because of the longevity of plastic. The timber was rotting out here in no time. Uh, as you can see, this, this stuff is going to be here for longer than the, the structure holding it up. One of the issues here to make it meet the heritage standards was that there couldn't be a gap between each board. Normally in a wave break situation there'd be a gap to disperse the energy of the wave through the uh, structure. Um, this caused problems with the engineering so we had to go through that testing ratio. They had to allow for ferry wake storms, uh, all sorts of problems, all sorts of foreseeable and unforeseeable problems being situated on the bay here in the relatively open water. Uh, the material passed all those tests with flying colours. The final results of all the testing came out that it beat woods ha wood hands down. Uh, it's just the, the obvious choice for an installation like this.